nous parlons de l'Uretel Bula qui est Bibi, tout ça, qui est Stan for Benger, tout ça, ils font qu'on on, on interview avec uh, Miss Haïti, Christy Désir, bah, ça te mérité pour mettre bah, ça dans tes points. Et puis, on regarde Christy Désir avec Bibi, tout ça. <laughs> Thank you all for tuning in to YouTube Connecté. Um, today we're actually have the pleasure of having Miss Haiti, also known as Chrissy Desir, here with us, and we're here to learn a little bit about her. Hello, Chrissy. How are you doing today? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. I'm good. So tell us about yourself. Well, what do you do professionally? Um, right now at the moment, I am Miss IT Universe. So professionally, I am working hard to help Haiti and help the education in Haiti grow. And um, my duty right now is to really get the children in Haiti as much free education as they can. And that's what I'm doing professionally. That's my number one priority. But other than that, um, before that, I was doing marketing here in New York. And but my life is just surrounded by Haiti right now. All right. Now you say you were doing marketing. What kind of marketing were you doing? Were you in fashion or just regular business? Well, before while I was in college, I interned for Sean Diddy, and I was doing styling for him. And I did that for about two, three years. And after that, I graduated and I landed my first corporate job at Interscope Records. Mm -hmm and I was doing branding and partnerships. So I would brand um, all of our artists with different brands and partner them like um, different brands as far as like automobiles, uh, telephone companies, fashion. I still was able to do a lot of fashion, which I love deeply. It's a passion of mine. And I did that for three years and then something just told me that I had to go and go back to my country because I truly feel like my purpose in life is helping Haiti. All right. And now, you, as I, I believe you mentioned before that you, live, you reside in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. how, how can you compare and tell me the differences of from being in Haiti and living in a, in a large city such as Manhattan? Um, well, I love both tremendously. Haiti and New York are two different places, and that's why I love living in both of them so much. I, I'm literally in New York one week, in Haiti the next, back and forth. I've been doing it back and forth for the past, ever since I've been Miss Haiti Universe. So I love both, but New York is a big city. It's very fast moving, but I can compare a little bit to... Um, the city, Port-au-Prince, because it's so live, it's so vibrant, and everyone is moving, especially by the market, the Shemas, and mm -hmm. so it's similar in that sense as far as being busy, but it's very different. I love Haiti. I love where I'm from, Le Capua, and um, it's two different places, but two very beautiful, cultured places. All right, all right. And um, do you think there's any places in Haiti that share the same attributes as Manhattan or anywhere in the U.S.? Um, I would say where the market is and like going to like Chinatown or something mm -hmm. where there's like a lot of people trying to sell you things or the <laughs> the Mashants cursing you out <laughs> for not buying their stuff and buying the other lady's stuff and trying to give you a good price and sometimes I'm like, okay, okay, I'm And they're like, no, Vini Shelly, Vini Shelly. Yeah. So it's like the same thing going to Chinatown or something like that. So right. yeah. Right. Now, in regards to the Jasper that are still living here and haven't returned back to a beautiful country, what what do you have to say to them? Um to be honest, I think it's it's a shame. I feel like a lot of people who move to the U.S. or France, Canada, they moved for a reason because they wanted a better life. They wanted to, um, they wanted better opportunity for their children, better education. And that's why my mom, she moved here and I was educated here in the U.S. But I think that no one should ever forget where they come from because at the end of the day, we are all Haitian and we've been, as a country, we've been suffering since we gain our independence. And um, it's not because we don't want to do better. It's just the p they're making it just so hard for us to do better. So I think that it's our responsibility as a Jaspoa to go back to our country. And if you can sponsor one child to go to school because 
you know, there's not any schools. It's not free in Haiti. Mm-hmm. So if you can do that for if one person in the Jasper Law community did that for one child in Haiti, think about how better off the children could be. So I think that it's important that when we go on vacation, if we're going to go somewhere in the Caribbean, go to Haiti, visit your country, because Haiti is just as beautiful as any other island in the Caribbean. And so I think we need to give back. We need to help the tourism grow. And we need to spread the word to everyone that we encounter about our beautiful country. I feel like I'm like walking advertisement. Everywhere I go, I talk about Haiti. If they haven't been, I tell them you should go to Haiti because this is our country. And we, the Jaspawa, have to help a little bit more than others because a lot of us, unfortunately, are we had the opportunity to go to school, so some of us are a little more educated, and we have good jobs, and we should be putting a certain amount of money back into our country. I agree with you completely. Now, you mentioned the tourism sector. Do you feel as if the tourism sector of Haiti has increased ever since the earthquake, or has it declined? I think it's, well, I think after the in, uh, earthquake, it definitely declined a lot, but then I think recently it has been definitely increasing for the better and I am just so happy seeing so many people from all qualities of life from different backgrounds cultures people are actually going to Haiti and they love going to Haiti and they're spreading the word and you know Haiti has built so many new hotels and I think that the Minister of Tourism, Stephanie, is doing a very great job in the tourism section. And so I think it's doing well, it's doing better, and I only see Haiti's tourism progressing. That's fantastic. I agree with you completely. (laughs) So now um, I'd like to get to know you a little bit more in your mindset. Can you tell me why you chose a beauty pageant to represent Haiti out of all the things in the world that you could have possibly done? Um... Well, I think that, you know, I was going towards a different path in life as far as I wasn't doing any beauty pageants. I wasn't modeling. I had a desk job. I was doing marketing. But like I said earlier, I feel like I've always wanted to do something better for my country. And even before I came became Miss Haiti, I've always sponsored a few children in my neighborhood to go back to school. And... I just feel like being Miss Haiti gives me a a bigger voice to spread the word about my country and to spread the word about education in my country. So that's the number one reason why I did Miss Haiti. I didn't do it for myself. I didn't do it for anyone but my country and the people of my country because I want the world to see Haiti in a different light, in a positive light. And so that's why I did it. All right, all right. Now, do you mind if I ask you some questions in Creole? Sure. All right. I'm going to say again, please, Lord, Madame Haiti, avant. Bon, c'est Mondiana Pierre, Christelle Jacques, Annie Lazelle. Est-ce que si vous voulez prendre place ou encore, est-ce que vous êtes capable? Oui, moi, je ne peux Madame Capon Plasme parce que. Si vous voulez faire un gros changer pour Haïti, non kayo, yo ka fèl. So moi pense si yo te voulez faire Miss Haïti encore, yo tap fait maybe yo tap fait un pi bon travail que moi parce que moi lead by example. Mm-hmm. So I think they would do a great job. All right, all right. Et si vous montez ka fèl on ne pour action pour faire Haïti en plus belle pays toujours. Qui ça ou te ou te ka fait? Moi quoi même j'aime te dire yo ka investir dans Haïti. Investir dans pays ou ba acheter local les ou vle aller en vacances, aller à Haïti et si ou gen un 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 team en Haïti que ou connaît, yo vle aller l'école, yo pa ka local paye pour l'école li parce que l'école li ba cher Haïti pour nous pour nous même qui rete là li 100 dollars si ou, ou ka prend 100 dollars acheter yon bel sneaker ou ka voye un un ya mhm ke bel bagay bon now let's get personal let's okay let's relax <laughs> right 
What do you What do you like to do in your free time? What are your hobbies? Um, I'm like such a simple, simple girl. I just love hanging with my family. That's I'm a very family oriented person. I every chance I get, you know, a lot of my family are in Connecticut and in Haiti. So any chance I get, I go back home and. This is funny because the funny thing that I do is I when I go home in Connecticut, I don't bring any I bring like home clothes, like, you know, just like sweatpants yeah, yeah. because it forces me to stay home. And I just like staying home. I don't like going out and partying in Connecticut anymore. I just like to stay home with my family. My grandparents are getting old and they're sick. So I like spending time with my parents, with my mom, who is such a fun person. So my brother and all my nieces and nephews, I feel like, you know, I'm only going to be getting busier and busier. So I just want to spend the time that I have with my family. All right. So that means when, we, when it gets warmer, the family cookouts, you'll be there. Huh? Exactly. <laughs> and we party a lot. It's so many of us. It's always someone's birthday, a christening. Something's happening at least twice a month. So we party all the time. <laughs> Enjoy life. That's yes. What I'm uh huh. About. So, what kind of music are you into? Well, of course, I'm into compa. I love compa. Okay. Okay. Um, I love all Haitian music. I love being in the streets and hearing gaga in Haiti. I love dancing. So anything that makes me dance, I love. Um, I love reggae music. I love hip hop, R and B. I mean, I think I worked in a mu at a music label, so it definitely. It, I definitely was surrounded by a lot of different type of music from techno to EDM. I've been introduced to everything. And I honestly, I love every type of music. But, of course, I love Haitian music the most. <laughs> so who's your favorite artist? Haitian artist or? Haitian artist. My favorite? I mean, I love Amy Michelle. I always will love her. She's like the best to me. Um, I love all the old school, like Ansi de Rose. My mom used to play that all the time. Of course, I love um, T Vice, Team Lobe, all the new mm -hmm. stuff, mm -hmm. the carnival music, Jakut. Okay. I try to go to the balls at every time in New York. I try to if I have if I'm here, and I just love to dance. I love being around my Haitian people and hearing Haitian music. And it's nothing like Haitian music. I don't, I, if you're not Haitian or if you're not surrounded by Haitian people, you don't really understand the compa. You gotta really it has it has to come deep within to really know the good music that we have. All right, so if you were to hear a pump out, a little bit of pump out right now, would you start dancing? I would. And I'll join you. I think Vivens has some music that he likes to play. <laughs> really? I believe so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a virtual. Who is this by again? <laughs> Let's see if you can guess it. Wait. <laughs> um, wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> see, this is what I love. It's just like, it's our culture. Definitely. It's music. It's, it's, yeah. it's nothing like compa music. Mm -hmm. can I, if I were to tell you this song is... A gospel song. Really? <laughs> I could uh, I could believe that. Yeah, it is actually. Yes. I live for a while watch he has a city. And a city out. That's Nixon, he has a city out. So. Oh wow. Yeah. Well I, I need a copy of that C D. Yeah. So yeah. I can play it while I'm cleaning the house. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right, all right. Um what are your favorite Haitian cuisines that you like? You know what's funny? When I was young, I used to not like legume. Whenever my mom used to make legume, I used to be like, no, I don't want legume. But now it is my favorite dish, legume. I love legume. I used to love boulette. I haven't had boulette in so many years, but I used to love when my mom used to make boulette. But legume, boulette, um, I love pickles on anything. And my favorite is macaroni gratin. Ooh, okay. Jesus, that is my favorite. I can eat the whole thing. When my aunt makes it, I mean, she knows. Like, she makes a separate one mm -hmm. for me. Just for me. Of course. <laughs> of course. Yeah. 
It's just the way things are. Exactly. It's the way things are. <laughs> of course. So now I got I got I got a, a little test for you to make sure that you're actually Haitian and uh, you're actually human. Okay. I'm asking you to translate two words for me. Okay. Can you translate how to snore? How to snore? Snore. In Creole? Mm -hmm. How to snore? Gonfle. Okay. Okay. You got it. You got it. <laughs> you, got it. You, got it. you got it. You know. Yeah. Now, just to loosen up a little, how do you say fart in Creole? Pete. <laughs> <laughs> I know that one for sure. <laughs> All right, so you passed the test of being Haitian. Yay! So let's pass the human test. Okay. Can you make those noises? Sure. Let's but see. I don't snore and I don't pit it. <laughs> so I can only imagine what that sounds like. All right, so tell me, what, what do you imagine? S <laughs> snoring is. <sighs> that's snoring. Mm -hmm. And pit it, as my niece would say she'd be like poet <laughs> <laughs> okay okay so you passed my test you passed my test good you human thank god and, and i'm haitian you're definitely haitian <laughs> credit given credit given thank you <laughs> so now one final question we hear new to connect it for mayor what's the first thing that comes to mind i think about us joining together and being there for one another to make haiti a better place all right uh, do you have anything you'd like to say to our viewers um i just would like to say thank you to everyone that supported me since day one since i was running for miss haiti thank you for all the kind words and i just hope that you know we all can come together as one like a lot of us are doing now especially the younger people i think we're doing a great job as far as investing in Haiti and going back to our country. And I just hope that we continue to move forward and progress and help Haiti's economy get better. And I know it will. And I think that if we all just have hope and faith and patience, I know that Haiti will be better. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Thank really you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. No problem at all. <laughs>